traded in our old Jeep and got the new 2020 Jeep Gladiator. We already did a couple of stuff that we didn't record just because we got a little excited. We installed new KC lights, the Pro 6 LEDs. I got the mounts powder coated. I also got this tinted yesterday, 5% all around. I know I'm, I'm about to get pulled over. As of right now, that's what we got for it. On today's installation video, we are going to be installing the Mopar Hard Tri-Fold Cover. We have been going on road trips, going snowboarding. We already went to Florida and we couldn't use any of this trunk space because we couldn't secure anything. So this is what was included in the kit. We have that trifold cover, the left and right side rails, and all of the hardware that we'll be using for this installation. And of course, the tools that we'll need to do this. The tools you'll need is a number three Allen, a torque Allen that came with the kit, some scissors, a razor knife, you're going to use a T50 Torx, a number 13 socket with a number 13 open wrench, the socket and an extension, this trim tool to make life easier. We're just using the power tool to speed the process up. Okay, the first thing you guys do is, if you don't have the spray in bed liner, there's usually a cover here that you have to cut out if you have the drop in bed liner. But in this case, we don't have to take anything out since the two holes for our bolts are already exposed. Now we're gonna move on to the back of the bed. You have this little square cutout. This is where you use your razor knife to cut this out. Be careful not to cut yourself and be careful not to cut anything else but this piece. Once you cut that out, you're going to have all these holes that's going to be exposed for your rail. We're starting off doing the left one first. Alright, once you get those covers off, we're going to start here from the back of the bed. We have this little bushing. We put it in this top hole. There you go. Have that on. Next, we took this weather strip and we are going to be sticking it on the top of the bed on the very edge, but make sure that the top is clean and it's wiped down with alcohol. It just runs all along the side of the bed. Next, we're taking the left side rail and we're going to be placing it like so. Make sure you have this part on the back of the bed. Next, we are taking the number three screw, a washer, and that number three Allen, and we are going to be placing it on the top hole over here. Next, we are taking the T50 screw washer and the T50 torque, and we are going to be screwing it to the bottom hole. Since we have the spray-in bed liner, the hole may have some excess liner in it, so you might have to take a razor to just clear out that excess before screwing in. We're going to be using the power tool, and you're going to just get it in snug, but don't do it too tight right now. So you have the small torque bolt, the washer, plastic spacer, and plastic spacer lock. What you're going to do is place the bolt and a washer in that hole there, and on the other side, place that plastic spacer and the plastic spacer lock, like so. And do the same thing for the other hole. Now you take the torque that came with the kit and you're going to be screwing in those to the hole of the bag. 
Now this is going to be the longest of the installation because you have to actually hand torque it yourself. No power tools able. Now we're gonna get our trim tool and run it underneath the seal. You're going to run it along the bed just to make sure that it is going to be flush to the bed. Now you're going to repeat the step for the right side. There you have it, the right side is complete. Now moving on to the next step. Now you're gonna go ahead and tighten your T50 bolt. And then with that number three and number three Allen, go ahead and type in the other bolt. Now we're going to the bed cover and we're going to be installing the clips. So this is the clip, the Phillip bolt, and this plastic thing that came with it. You're going to just be placing the clip over top, placing that thing underneath from the other side up, and then screwing it together like so. Take your Phillips head screwdriver and tighten it. Now, when you are using the Phillips head, remember to hold the bottom piece on the other side down while you're turning it to make sure it is tight. And as soon as you finish that, you go on to the other side and connect it like that. Next step, you're going to be taking the clip and clipping it, then tightening it. And do the same thing on the other side. Now we're going to place it on top of the rails. Once you have the bed cover on the railing, you're gonna lift the front piece, slide this bolt in here in the grooves, and then when you close, it matches up in here. You're gonna do it to both sides and then close down. Before we bolt anything down, you have to test your fitment. Make sure everything is going to be sealed and aligned properly. Once you test down everything and make sure it's all sealed, you're gonna go ahead and fold it back up and you're going to go ahead and bolt those screws down. Now you're gonna take your rubber washer, your washer, and your nut, and you're going to be screwing down that using your 13 torque or open wrench. All right, last step we have to do is install the drain hoses. And in order for us to do that, like we said, we have a spray in bed liner. So we have to take this drain plug out. So use your razor knife and cut around this. All right, then go ahead and take the plug out. Now go get your drain hose, attach it on to the rail and then grab the other end and shove it in there. All right, and then repeat that step on the other side. Got those two drain hoses installed. Now let's try on our bed cover. There you have it. That's how you install the Mopar hard trifold cover.
thanks for watching us installed our bed cover on our Jeep Gladiator. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.